everybody Ann here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee Miss Judy's over there and I'm just sitting here reading all your comments on my last video the the one about you know sad and whatnot and you've all brought tears to my eyes so I'm gonna get off social media for a little while and um, it's actually not very sunny today it's kind of a drab dreary day but I'm going to go out and enjoy this day. I'm going to do something. Don't know what I'm going to do. If it's even just walking around, looking at things, that's what I'm going to do. But you all have lifted me up. So thank you. I love you guys so much. One or two of the hens has been squawking all morning. They're still in the van. It's like 12 something. Still no eggs. So I don't know. Maybe Maybe they're getting ready to lay now. Just one out. Uh, two of the leghorns have been going in and out of the boxes. No eggs. <laughs> I'm bummed. Come on, girls. Who is that? Oh, it's it's none of these up on top. This little thing. I think it's Mama. Nope, nope, nope. Mama's right there. I don't know. What are you doing, chickens? I'm just going to back off, give them a little bit more time, see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to go and try and wrap that uh, tank with some more garbage bags. It's going to be harder now because it's full, but I'm going to see if I can do it. It is mostly wrapped, but I've noticed that since it's fuller, I don't have the back done yet. Um, it is full. Can you see that? To right there. And so that is, it looks like more than half. But I've noticed that the fuller it is, the harder it is to get it behind this thingy. So I'm doing the best I can. I've got some of it on. I've got the top done. And I just weighed it down with these old logs. Uh, of course, I left that open. Had to, you know, or the water can't get in. I've got most of this side done, but I just can't get it down below there. I don't know. I may just wrap it around the outside, but it's just easier. I mean, I thought it would be easier putting it behind the cage because that will hold it on if it gets windy. Uh, I got a little bit of it done. Um, I'm going to give it a rest here for a little bit because I got to show you. I've been cutting myself, and this right here really hurts I cut it with a knife pretty deep and I have to kind of like stuff it in this way so it's hurting it so I don't know I may just let this go until this thing heals up but it's getting pretty much covered so at least that's something I went ahead and cut back the chives and the walking onions so hopefully they'll come out back up next winter I may need to cut those down a little bit more but um, and I'm gonna cook up the tops and something today and I pulled the uh, turnips. No, beets. No turnips. Yep. I pulled the turnips. They weren't very big. I'm going to throw them in some soup today, probably. Um, I'll probably go ahead and take all of this off because there's really nothing else for the chickens to get to. Uh, yeah, I think I, I need to cut that a little bit lower because they'll just pull it right out of the ground and, uh, save this netting for next spring and the little post things because those worked out great. I also cut back the oregano, the sage. I still need to cut that back. Um, I may go ahead and just leave this rosemary here for them to peck away at. And I did undecorate the tree. This, I don't know if it's going to be worth planting, you guys. It looks like it's getting a little brownish, and they really shouldn't be doing that. So I don't know if this is worth the trouble to try and transplant out by the road. Um, I've been watering it and it has been raining, but uh, maybe I just didn't get enough of the roots. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Somebody's still squawking. Let me know what you think about that. I cut back all the thyme and the peppermint. Uh, so that's all cut down to the ground. There's more peppermint over there, more peppermint over there. I just cut it back all the way to the ground. Hopefully it'll come back next year. Great. Judy has decided to take a dump in the Hugo Culture garden bed. Lovely. 
There's one more little turnip over there. I may just pull it and give the chickens the greens. Uh, that's the beauty berry. I'm not really sure if I should cut that back all the way. I'm going to have to look that up. This is the passion fruit vine, and it's kind of <laughs> cut back by the chickens already, so I don't know if that's going to come back. But Listen to that. i got to go see what's going on over there. It. And nope. Hmm. I have a feeling she's wanting to, but if I let her, if I let the leghorns out, nobody's gonna lay inside this van. <sighs> what I ended up doing is just letting the blacks out because they're not gonna be laying the eggs. It's the it's the leghorn. So um, they're eating a little snack right now. They've been molting, so I gave them a little bit of extra protein in the form of some sardines added some oats in it and so I went in and took a tray into the girls inside so they can have a little snack too. Maybe it's just going to take them a little bit longer and for it to be a little bit calmer. I just need to leave them alone. <sighs> this is just frustrating. I mean it's not 1 p.m. yet so well we'll see. I also took Judy inside because she was just barking up a storm and I know that if chickens get stressed they can have they can lay those funny looking eggs like the one that I had in that shorts video. It was so weird. It was like, it was frozen solid, but if it had not been frozen solid, I bet you it was one of those squishy eggs, you know what I mean? But there was a yolk inside of it and everything. Um, and like I said, it was laid uh, when one of them was up on that roost by the window. So I just need to keep it calm. They need to feel secure and just let them do their thing. Aw, good boy, Romeo. He's trying to do his little rooster dance. He's still very awkward at it. Oh, look, he's telling. Oh, oh. And <laughs> took it right out of his mouth. I need to name that, that bard rock. What do you think? What should I name her, you guys? So we have Romeo. We have... Look. He's trying to get with her. Look. I have an opened the door so they can't free range. I just want to keep them in the yard for a little bit. Look. He's, he's trying hard. He's like, come on. Come on. He wants in there. He can't get in there. Um, okay, so I've that Coco is there. She's the one that's right there. Uh, the Bard Rock doesn't have a name. And the black one doesn't have a name. And then inside we've got Mama and Patsy and then one more Leghorn. Uh, so we need to find names for all of those. So help me out, guys. What do you think I should name them? Aw, Romeo. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh, and by the way, I did take all of those herbs and whatnot that I that I trimmed back and I just threw them in the chicken yard so the chickens can have them. And they're picking away at them. Oh, Romeo is telling the girls where the food is and the leghorns are still in there going crazy. And Romeo does not like being separated from those leghorns, so it's 1248. I mean, basically... 1 p.m. is six hours from the time that it's daylight time um, when the sun comes up. So that's kind of the time frame that I've read that chickens will start laying within the first six hours. So I'm going to try and stick to that because when I've kept them in the van until 1 p.m., that's when I've gotten eggs. And I've let them out early the last couple of days, and they've just gone off, and I think they're laying eggs in the woods. <laughs> Romeo. Well, it's about quarter after one, and still no egg. Uh, they seem to kind of calm down a little bit, so 
I don't know, sounds, it sounded a little distressing to me, so I just put some extra oats out in the yard. I don't have the gate open, so I'm just going to watch them. I'm going to try and keep them in the yard today and just see what happens. Maybe, maybe let them go out and free range a little bit, but no eggs today. I don't think so, unless, unless somebody goes back in there and decides to lay an egg. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.